Lactantius on the Deaths of the Persecutors, Episode 9. Cum resurrexit Dio tertio, congregavit discipulos, quos metus comprehensionis eius, in fugam verterat, et diebus quadrigente cum his camordratus aperuit corda eorum et scripturas interpretatus est, quae usque ad id tempus obscurdrae atque involutae fuerdrunt, or denavitque eos et instruxit ad praedicationem dogmatis ac doctrinae suae, disponens testamenti novi solem nam disciplinam. Lactantius now continues with his history of persecution. When he had arisen again, of course the subject is Christ, and cum here with the subjunctive is a cum causal, this is a pluperfect subjunctive, when he had risen again on the third day, ablative of time, he gathered together his disciples. Congregawit is from cum and greeks. A greeks is a flock, cum means with, the resulting verb means to pull together as a flock. So it's a very appropriate word here. He gathered together his disciples. Now we have a relative clause. Disciples whom? What kind of disciples? The disciples whom the fear, metus, a fourth declension noun, the fear of his arrest had turned to flight. In fugam werterat. The subject then is metus, the verb is werterat, in the pluperfect indicative, the object is quos. Whom the fear of his arrest had driven to flight, he gathered them together, and throughout forty days, diebus quadriginta, with them, while tarrying, camoratus, here's our subject. How do I know it's the subject? It's nominative, masculine, singular, nominative. The nominative is the subject. And while tarrying with them for forty days, he opened their hearts, corda eorum, and he interpreted the scriptures, scripturas interpretatus est. This, of course, is a reference, so I believe, to Luke chapter 24 and the road to Emmaus, wherein Christ explains to his disciples the Old Testament. Beginning from Moses and all the prophets, he explained himself in the scriptures. The scriptures, why, which, here's another relative clause, all the way up until that point had been shadowed and enveloped, obscurae atque involutae, obscure or darkened and complicated. He unrolled them. And what else did he do? He ordinawit, he ordained or he set them in place, eos meaning the discipulos, he set them in place and he equipped them for the preaching of his dogma and his doctrine. And he did this disponens, laying out or explaining of the new covenant or of the new testament, the solemnem disciplinam, the grave, the important, the weighty teaching. Notice how I declined to translate solemnem by the English derivative solemn, because I don't think it really fits here. This is one sentence. Let's take a look a little bit at the style, since we have the time to do so. I've included here, uh, from Logos, an image of the early city of Jerusalem in which these events took place. Jerusalem of 34 BC, if you can see that. A good Latin sentence is built on its finite verbs, and this one has a number, of each of which Christ is the subject. Congregavit, aperuit, interpretatus est, ordinavit, and instructsit. He gathered together, he opened, he interpreted, he set in order or ordained, and he equipped. Now there are subordinate verbs as well. Resurrexisset in the cum clause, werterat in the quos clause, and fuerunt in the quae clause. This sentence shows Lactantius's mastery of style.